influence with God. Our example in obedience. 1 Peter 2 verses 21 and 22 say, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did not sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Before us is held out the wonderful possibility of being like Christ, obedient to all the principles of the law of God. But of ourselves we are utterly powerless to attain to this condition. All that is good in man comes to him through Christ. The holiness that God's word declares we must have before we can be saved is the result of the working of divine grace as we bow in submission to the discipline and restraining influence of the spirit of truth. Man's obedience can be made perfect only by the instance of Christ's righteousness, which fills with divine fragrance every act of true obedience. The part of the Christian is to persevere in overcoming every fault. Constantly he is to pray to the Savior to heal the disorders of his deceased soul. He has not the wisdom and strength without which he cannot overcome. They belong to the Lord, and He bestows them on those who in humiliation and contrition seek Him for help. The work of transformation from unholiness to holiness is a continuous work. Day by day, God labors for man's sanctification, and man is to cooperate with Him by putting forth persevering efforts in the cultivation of right habits. God will more than fulfill the highest expectations of those who put their trust in Him. He desires us to remember that when we are humble and contrite, we stand where He can and will manifest Himself to us. He is well pleased when we urge past mercies and blessings as a reason why He should bestow on us higher and greater blessings. He is honored when we love Him and bear testimony to the geniusness of our love by keeping His commandments. There is nothing so great and powerful as God's love for those who are His children. This reading was taken from the book, In Heavenly Places, Our Example in Obedience. For even here unto were ye called, says Apostle Paul, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Christ is our greatest example. He came to earth and lived a life of perfect obedience. He gave us a security that it is possible. As human beings, we might have tried to stop sinning, leave the bad, and stop talking about others, but we simply can't do it. We make mistakes and fall into sin again. We can only be overcomers to the grace of Christ. God gives us the possibility to obey all the principles of the law like Christ. But it is true, on our own we are incapable. On some occasions we may seem to be obedient, but our motives are not correct. God desires that we present our obedience to the incense of the righteousness of Christ, that our actions may be full of the fragrance of the justice of Christ. But sometimes we are full of pride, vanity, and selfishness because of the actions we do. That obedience doesn't work because God also judges the intentions of the heart. We must be humble and contrite. That way we'll be in places where He will manifest Himself to us. We mess up every day. We sin every moment. But that is a greater reason for us to go to Him. There is nothing as great or powerful than the love of God for His children. Do not leave Him. Do you feel bad for sinning? Come to Jesus. Do you feel that you cannot live a righteous life? Then come to Jesus. He is awaiting you with His arms open wide for you. He is our example, and He wants to help you to live like He did, so that you may be prepared to be in heavenly places. visit www.biblewell.com.